All right, folks, so what we have here is the Olight S1R baton flashlight. The R stands for rechargeable. What I wanted to do is open it up, do a little bit of a review, take it outside and do some beam shots, and see what this flashlight can do. But before we do that, why don't you go grab yourself a nice cold one, come on back, and we'll get started. All right, folks, so hopefully everybody made it back. This is a pretty highly anticipated flashlight to come out. The uh, Olight S1 was a very, very popular EDC light. And then Olight upped the ante with this flashlight by including a magnetic rechargeable base. Um, I do want to say before we get this uh, overview started that Olight contacted me and asked if I would uh, do a review of this product. And I said, of course I would. Uh, so they sent me this flashlight free of charge for this review. Here it is compared to the Olight S1A. It's almost the exact same size, just a little bit longer to accommodate for the charging mechanism. So I've taken it out of the packaging, and as usual, it comes in this cardboard holder, not held in by an O-ring as they typically do, but it was clipped in with the pocket clip. Taking a quick look at the package, you can see it's the S1R baton rechargeable variable output side switch LED light. It's 15 days on its lowest setting. Waterproof up to um, two meters. You can submerge it, I think it's for half an hour and two, two meters of water. And it has a throw in a high setting of 145 meters. And it's powered by a, a one rechargeable RCR123A battery, which is included. Taking a look at the back of it, you can see some specifications around the lumen output and the different modes. So it comes with five modes, and if you notice on the high mode, of 900 lumens, it steps down after half of a minute. You get 55 minute runtime at 300 lumens, which is pretty good. And then you can also see the measurements around the length, the bezel diameter, and the weight. It also comes with this bag, this Olight bag, and that's for carrying the charger that it comes with. And so here's the charger. So let's go ahead and we'll plug that in so you can see what it looks like. Having a little bit of trouble there. So that when the battery, I mean, when the flashlight's fully charged, this light will be green. Uh, green. When it's charging, it's red. Um, you can see the magnetic, magnetic uh, insert held, holds it on. And it, we're green because we're fully charged. It also comes with a standard adjustable O-light lanyard. And then these lanyards come outfitted with a needle. So you can go ahead and you can thread this lanyard through the small hole in the back of the flashlight. And it also comes with a, a comprehensive user manual, but we don't read these. And it's uh, written in multiple languages for those of you who can read all that. Standard Olight pocket clip, deep carry, tip up, which some people complain about, but I find that to be pretty handy in the event that you turn this flashlight on by accidentally hitting the side switch. Uh, that way you can at least see if your flashlight's on or you can see easier if your flashlight's on. Some people don't like this side switch because they think that uh, it's hard to find in the dark. So what I do is I keep this, this uh, pocket clip 180 degrees from the side switch. So that way I can index and find the switch easily. So while the flashlight's off, a quick double tap will take you into turbo mode. And when you turn it off, it kind of steps down. And a quick triple tap will take you to a strobe. Ooh. Let's try that one more time. Turn it off. Quick triple tap. There we go. Let's go ahead and turn it off. It has a memory mode, so when you turn the flashlight on, you can step through the modes by just holding the button in. Now, when I turn it off here, turn it back on, it goes right back to the mode where it was on. Okay, let's step through the modes real quick. When you turn it on, I think this is low mode, hold it in, go to medium, hold it in, go to high, hold it in, go to turbo, hold it in one more time, and there is the low, medium, Hi. I'm accidentally skipping over the Firefly mode because I'm holding it in too long. Okay, quickly I want to take a look at the battery that this ships with. It's an Olight branded 3.7 volt, 550 milliamp hour RCR123A. It's a lithium ion rechargeable battery for hydrogen devices. It has two watt hours. Great little battery. I use these often. This one's a little bit older. But uh, this is this is the flashlight that I was using. This is a 2.4 uh, 
four watt hours is 650 milliamp hours. But this is the one I was using in my S1. Oh, when you put this flashlight in, it goes in like that. All right, let's take this flashlight outside and get some beam shots. All right, folks, I'm sorry it's not darker. The moon's a little bright tonight. So when I do a long press, it takes me to the moonlight mode. I'm not sure how well it's going to come up on the camera, but the moonlight mode's pretty functional. I hold it in, that takes me to low. So if you were doing something like an engine inspection, the low setting actually looks like it'll work pretty well. One more long press takes me to medium, and the medium is, is very nice, very bright, lights up the engine compartment great. A little bit longer, this would be the high mode. Um, the high mode's great, it really lights everything up, but I don't know if it's necessary. And then of course there's the turbo. The turbo is just not necessary. It's kind of too bright. It kind of whitens everything, uh, brights it out. Let's go ahead and turn it off and we'll get some distance shots. One other thing I forgot to mention is, is that it has the handy magnetic mode. So if you wanted to go hands-free and you had some work to do, that really works well when you're working on a car at night. Okay, here we are shooting down the driveway. I'm going to do a long press and I'm going to come in on the moonlight mode which really doesn't do anything. It's a little brighter in person than it is on the camera, but it's not worth uh, using when you're walking around. Hold it in, low mode, it's doing pretty well. I wouldn't walk around with this though because I'd want to illuminate the area a little bit more, so I would use the medium mode. As you can see, the medium mode is quite functional. You can see down to the street, which is about 20, 25 yards. High mode's really bright. and it'll probably draw attention to you using this walking around. And then there's turbo. Turbo really draws attention, and it lights up pretty far. I don't know if it's 144 meters. I don't have any way to measure that, but uh, it's pretty bright. All right, folks. So what you could see from the beam shots is this is a very capable little flashlight, which would be a perfect EDC flashlight. I like these smaller flashlights because they're they're more pocketable. They don't take up a lot of real estate in your uh, in your pocket or whatever carrying mechanism that you're using, and they have really good brightness and they have really good flooding capabilities. They illuminate really well, so this is a winner in my book, and I would expect to see Olight sell quite a bit of these flashlights.